Hello, everyone. This is Boyd Brody, Key Cooperative uh, General Manager, and this is your Key News in Two for May. Uh, so this month, I uh, just wanted to let everybody know that things are going really fairly well despite the pandemic. Planting uh, is awesome. We've uh, gotten a lot planted in corn and beans here in the month of April. Phenomenal start, and uh, we're excited about that. We were fortunate to have good weather early in the month, and we're able to get about 75% of what we typically apply in a year on anhydrous out in about two weeks. So had a really good run and uh, thanks to you for letting us know uh, and, and keeping up and of course going forward, taking care of this crop, keep in touch, uh, let's stay on top of it and uh, let us help you get, make sure we get stuff out. We realize it's a challenge with the, uh, the phones and you know, just having to do everything that way because uh, of the conditions and trying to limit how many people are coming into the offices. We're trying to keep you healthy, trying to keep our employees healthy by maintaining those distances. And we're gonna have to figure out how to continue to do that going into the future. So I'm sharing my Zoom background screen here. So we've had a lot of meetings to try to coordinate activities uh, with the staff and the leadership team. Um, employees uh, here at the co-op and things have gone as well as they can under the circumstances. Certainly we're facing challenges in every sector. Uh, it's just been phenomenal from uh, oil's collapse coinciding with the pandemic which has just made energy markets extremely volatile. It's uh, even maybe having an effect on our propane supply so we're keeping a vigilant eye on that. Uh, it's backed up into ethanol's viability and uh, Certainly, they're trying to grind uh, just based on the values of the DDGs and the CO2, but ultimately, if they can't move the product and their storage tanks get full, it makes it extremely difficult to keep operating. We did shift on feed, uh, you know, from a protein standpoint to a lot of bean meal as DDGs got tough to get, and they're running into the same thing. Without the economy going, they're not consuming the oil, and as they're not consuming the oil, then those tanks get full and then they can't continue to crush. So it's really backing up in every sector. Certainly it's affected our grain markets. Uh, I know a lot of you are working on some of your plans and positions. So stay in contact with your originators and our grain team as they want to help uh, to alleviate some of the, the pressure on the market. And any plans that we can put in place to uh, deal with portions of the crop is better than just staying completely completely open. So uh, we are anticipating some shipping delays as uh, likely we'll not see a lot of, of selling off the farm coming into the elevators until late. So we are looking at pile space and making sure we can kind of put away two harvests as we see a lot of grain come in late. And then we're also going to have to take care of this 2020 harvest, which we do have an excellent start on. So uh, so stay in touch and in contact uh, with us here at the co-op so we can help. Um, and as we get the feed and the energy products delivered and agronomy products out and uh, take care of this crop in the field. So, uh, and I guess as far as the team here, we've only had a few employees directly affected uh, by the coronavirus. And that's really been family members uh, that were positive. The employees, fortunately, uh, none of them have contracted the virus and they've all been able to come back to work. So we feel very fortunate about that. I'm not aware of any members uh, that have uh, fallen to the virus at this point either. So um, beyond that, on an unrelated topic, uh, we, uh, we did uh, lose one of our own this past week, uh, Kevin Tish uh, from Newton, one of our CESs, our energy salesman, uh, had an unrelated issue. It was not coronavirus, but he had some health issues uh, and did pass last week. So. Our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to Kevin's family and, and everybody that's been affected by that. So uh, just again, keep in mind that we're here to take care of your needs as difficult as it has been uh, to communicate. We want to overcome that any way we can and make sure that uh, we do, we're doing what we need to. So uh, from us here at Key Cooperative, stay health, uh, stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks.